In a moment that shocked the world, 276 girls were abducted from their school in northern Nigeria. The campaign calling for their release was a global sensation, and bring back our girls was the rallying cry. In these girls, Barack and I see our own daughters. The media frenzy propelled their kidnappers, the extremist terror group Boko Haram, into the spotlight. The Chibok girls became a symbol of violence against women and education. After a ransom payment of 3 million euros and the release of five Boko Haram prisoners, 81 abductees were freed in 2014. Naomi Adamu was one of them. Sorry. The eldest of her classmates, they called her Mama Mu, our mother. When we spoke to her, she asked to meet us in the privacy of a hotel in Nigeria's capital, Abuja. And in a small plastic bag, she brought with her a diary. She risked her life to write in the notebook, under the watch of a group notoriously against Western education. Their popular name, Boko Haram, literally translates into books are forbidden. Tell me a little bit about your time in captivity. What started in 2002 as a series of radicalizing Islamist sermons transformed into a brutal militancy claiming 36,000 lives and displacing 2 million people. What was it like for you reintegrating into society after your experience? At least 600 boys and girls have been abducted since December. Investigators believe the culprits are armed bandits who now see school children as high-value hostages. Boko Haram has claimed responsibility for one of the mass abductions. But experts have dismissed this as opportunism, fueled by a climate of sensationalism. Naomi is now three months pregnant with her first child, a new chapter in her life. But the memory of her captors is still thick in the air fed by headlines that sound all too familiar. <laughs>